Cinema 5D at IBC 2016 is brought to you by b &H, the professional source for all your video needs. Tilta, arm your camera. Hedge for Mac, the fastest way to back up media. Blackmagic Design, creating amazing solutions for film, post-production and television. And f and bright ideas. Hi, this is Seb from Cinema 5D and we're here at the Panasonic booth. And uh, I'm here with Noriaki Ugo, product manager of Varicam. Hello, nice to see you. It's very nice to see that Panasonic is very active in the cinema market. You are now at IBC 2016 introducing uh, another uh, version of the Varicam. And this is, uh, you call this the Varicam Pure. What is the Varicam Pure? Please tell us about it. Yes. This is the Varicam Pure. It is constructed by the Varicam 35 camera module and newly designed the Vlo 2.0 recorder from Cotex. At the NAB 2016 this year, our management and the codex management met and got this idea. And the direct connection to the Baricom 35 camera head will allow to record 4K and compression low signal directly to the capture media with up to 120 frames per second. Wow, that's a lot. 4K raw, 120 frames. Uncompressed. Uncompressed, yes. okay. Why, why uncompressed? The uh, low signal recording, yes, it's going to be huge record, huge file size. But the people's concern is the quality. The best picture quality, how they can make with recording. In that case, uncompression low is the best way to keep the picture quality. So basically the very computer is about getting the highest quality possible from a camera? Yes, uh, we are very proud about the camera uh, performance of the Baricom 35. We have a uh, dual native ISO, 14 plus latitude. So to keep this good picture image of Baricom camera module can make, uh, how we can make record that nice image as much as better, as, as better as possible, yeah, the raw recording is the best way to do that. What is the deal about the direct connection? I mean, um, we know that there are some Sony cameras and you can connect, uh, they have a raw output, you can connect disc recorders to record the raw. What is the difference um, of, of the codex recorder to these cameras? Uh, what is the difference uh, in terms of quality? Okay, uh, again, the camera output directly going to record to the uh, Vlo recorder of the codex. And we also have the uh, debayering and the color grading in the raw recorder. So even the raw signal is recorded for the post, we can see the, what kind of the picture is going to record and we can play back what's recorded as raw data. Okay, uh, that is a quite nice advantage of the uh, V-Raw recording system with Codex. Okay, so, so um, the recorder can also play back uh, for example, if I record 120 frames in 4K, I can directly after after recording playback the, the, yes, the feed. Yes, of course, cannot playback with 120 frames per second. But the uh, based on the system frequency, like a 24p, you can check the actual, for example, the uh, five times slow uh, speed operation with a real colored picture. Okay, and in my understanding. Uh, a direct connection has a much, much higher throughput than, for example, through an SDI cable or even uh, several SDI cables. Is this correct? The data rate itself is the same. Just, uh, again, 120 frame 4K low signal that can go through. But uh, the advantage of direct connection is, of course, the body side itself can be much smaller or shorter. The, uh, we had a low solution with Baricom 35 plus VLO recorder. But in that case, three modules are connected. Camera portion and our every intro recorder and raw recording. So it's going to be, to be honest, it's a long and a big. Now need to make a much smaller and lighter because of the, a lot of the uh, uh, gimbal or crane operation is quite popular. So we need to make a smaller and lighter. So this direct uh, connection will provide such a nice solution. Besides being smaller and lighter, are there any other benefits of the Codex recorder uh, in comparison to the old uh, raw yes. recording option? When we have a Baricom 35, we have a lot of the request about more DC output. 
the, it's a small portion, but because a lot of the accessories are going to connect, so a lot of the DC output is required. So the, this VLO2 recorder has three DC output in additional, so it's also quite a nice solution for the total system. Okay, but besides the direct playback and the DC output, uh, the lightweight design is the is the actual benefit over the other recorder, is that yes, correct? Yes, and uh, in addition, we have in-camera grading system that also work. So yeah, again, low is recorded with the log characteristics, but the uh, when the DP is shooting, they want to confirm what color looks like. So they can make LUT and they can control the LUT or they can adapt the LUT and confirm the picture on the monitor during the recording. This is a quite nice uh, advantage of this system. Was that, was that not possible before with the other RAW recorder? The, as far as I know, the, instead of the, our Panasonic Varicam, there is no in-camera grading system. I'm sorry, some, some camera has. Okay. But uh, we have the wireless good camera in-camera grading system. It works on this. Is this Codex recorder also com uh, compatible with the Varicam LT, for example, or uh, just the 35? The Varicam LT has BNC out and low signal come out. So we also provide low recording solution with external low recorder. Convergence Design and Atomos providing the uh, low recorder, it accepts our below output. All right. Um, how much is the full package? The full package we expect about the uh, less than 50k euro or less than 50k US dollar even. So the but uh, that one another advantage if the user already have Varicom 35, the the camera head no need to replace, just firmware version up and just buying the uh, list price 30k uh, recorder they can make the Baricom Pure products. Thank you very much for the interview and I see you at NAB 2017. Thank you very much, I hope so.